Okay, VJ. Rare now in the center of the battlefield where Pickett's charge took place. Over in that wood line over there is where the thousands of Confederate soldiers lined up. The monument that you see right over there is the Virginia State Monument with Robert E. Lee on it. That is where he sat on his horse Traveler and watched the battle take place, charge. And again, the Confederates lined up all the way across these woods, all the way down. Now, to get to the Union soldiers, they had to come all the way across that field, across these fences, across this road, across another fence, and then over to the Union line, which is right over here where all the monuments are. Their main objective was that group of trees right there. They called that the Cops of Trees. And in this area right here, that is what's known as the Bloody Angle. This is an area where the Confederates did cross over. The thing about it is, is when the Confederate soldiers were coming across the field, when they got to these fences right here, now they were in firing distance for the canister shot from the cannons and from the rifle volleys. So once the guys started to cross over here, cross over the fence, they were just cut down in lines. The Delaware Regiment was right over in this area. I think it's their sir monument right there and they took part in the repelling at the bloody angle now it started out in the mid-afternoon with cannon fire that you could hear close to 80 miles away hundreds and hundreds of cannons firing at each other the unfortunate part was the Confederate cannons that were firing over here couldn't see where they were hitting because of all the smoke. So they were actually overshooting the Union lines and the cannonballs and everything were hitting in the back of them. So by the time the Confederate soldiers got over here, there were still a majority of the Union forces still there to oppose them. I say very few made it across. Those that did were repelled back. Right over in this area over here. All right, get in focus, camera. Right in this area, right over here. The artillery pieces that are there, the monument there. That was Alonzo Cushing's battery and also the Armistead Memorial where Lewis Armistead, General Armistead, was the one of the officers of the Confederate Army. He made it as far as cross the fence before he was uh, shot in the mouth and killed.